here we are and uh, this is Volcara V120 DO2S now um, comes the servo delay issue so here's the helicopter in my hand and this is our swash plate and if I go totally left on cyclic and leave the servos come back slowly people call it a servo delay issue I would say I don't think so so uh, if you look at here elevator and aileron gain okay I will change it and you can see the effect on servos So when I put it to negative, you can see the delay or a coming back is even worse, right? So I will leave it here, the aileron gain where I have good movement. And we will fly this helicopter now and we will see how it's behaving. This is V120 DO2S on the ground and you see Swash comes back slowly as you mentioned. These are my settings, current settings on the knobs, okay? And now the helicopter is in the air. So you can see, you can hear how quick the servos are moving and how quick the swash is leveling. This is how quickly the swash gets back to normal and this is how quickly the swash behaves when the helicopter is in the air. So once again on the ground and in the air it's different so this is not an issue. Okay, just a little explanation. This is a swash plate here on KD700 using E-Bar. When I do cyclic, you can see it comes back normal. Now, let us do it on uh, KDS550 with the uh, Micro Beast. So, this is Micro Beast. And you see how swash plate comes back slowly. Do you call it a serious servo delay issue on Micro Beast? I don't think so. Okay. I can actually leave the stick. See? I can actually leave the stick. It's really, really stable. Hey, I'm not doing anything. Look at that stability on this one. Now let's turn on the pane, the idle up, and see how it will behave. Right? 